Okay, always appreciate the subtle reminder that our food is living. This is full of life force. That's why we say eat your fruits and veggies, guys. I might have to plant this. It's super cool. Morning, you guys and welcome back or if it's your first time welcome to eat move rest today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys what my plant-based kids eat in a day it's been a while we are long overdue and things have been changing around here so my favorite connections that I find in my DMS are moms that reach out and say I was afraid to be a mom until I found you guys or I was afraid to have a plant-based pregnancy until I found you guys and that just Seriously, it makes my heart sing. It makes me so happy that you guys are finding inspiration here. Good news is, even if you are not in that boat, you will still find a lot of inspiration in this video because honestly, what they eat is most of the time what we eat too. So I was scrolling through Instagram and I got a very reassuring reminder from Plant Based Juniors. If you guys don't follow them, they're a nutritionist duo and they have plant-based kids and they share amazing info. So they had a reel that said, if your kiddos don't really love vegetables, just continue to offer them and offer them and offer them until they develop a liking. But in the meantime, fruit offers a lot of the same vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients and kids obviously prefer sweet as opposed to the sometimes bitterness of vegetables. On that note, it seemed like a lot of the times the kids were not wanting to eat their oatmeal or all of these things for breakfast. And so I'm like, well, we're not eating those things either. So. We've started making really big smoothie bowls that are loaded with protein and iron and selenium and iodine and all these different superfoods and phytonutrients. And I'm like, we just need to be giving them what we're having first thing in the morning that we're hungry for. So fresh fruit, even dried fruit, the dried mulberries I've been giving them to snack on are super, super high in iron, like the highest of anything I've seen and they love them. So we've been doing fresh seasonal fruit, dried fruit and smoothie bowls for breakfast. In one ounce, 20% iron. It's also got a good amount of calcium and even a little bit of protein. Look at that, you guys. This one's got mango, yummy, yummy mango pineapple in it. All right, let's get some it's almond butter. Maxie, oh, it's so smooth, holy cow. Ooh. Our favorite green smoothie bowl recipe includes two cups of water, two tablespoons of chia or flax for healthy omega-3 fatty acids, about a half tablespoon of sea veggie dulse for iodine, one tablespoon of spirulina or barley grass juice powder or some other sort of greens powder, and then I'll also add in a Brazil nut for selenium, handful of dino kale and or collard greens are like my favorite go-to greens. I'll also add in a couple stalks of celery, one green Granny Smith apple, four frozen ripe speckled bananas, and then a cup of pineapple or mango or both. I also like to add in one scoop of vanilla or chocolate Sun Warrior Warrior Blend just for an added boost and the flavor is outrageous. It's such a good combination. I like smoothie bowls because I'm able to drizzle on healthy nut butter and hemp seeds to add even more calories and nutrition. But sometimes Biv doesn't eat her whole smoothie bowl so then I'll pour it in a cup and give it back to her and the little change seems to do the trick and she will finish it off. This recipe is the best way to disguise those less tasty foods like kale and help to seed your kiddo's gut for future enjoyment. Then usually we'll go out in the garage, do a quick workout. Max is always jumping on the trampoline. Biv is in her pack and play playing with all kinds of toys and I'll get her out at the end and do some squats and lunges and we'll play around and run around. Go outside, catch some frogs and lizards, get some energy out, and then we come back in for kind of a. I just found a frog outside. You just found a froggy? Mm -hmm. Then we come back in for like a late morning brunch, aka a second breakfast, and they're starving for their oatmeal and their baked oats. So they're actually getting a two for one special. Two breakfasts, which starts for an amazing day. Then usually we'll have a late lunch, maybe around two, sometimes 2.30 and it's gonna be a good one today. 
So these plant-powered quesadillas are one of Dusty's specialties that we've been enjoying a lot recently. Usually he'll mash an avocado and then add a spread of our favorite cedars, roasted red pepper hummus to an organic tortilla, along with a spread of some refried black beans. These are oil-free. Then he will add it to a warmed frying pan just for a couple of minutes on each side to crisp it up and slice it into triangles. And then we also try to include some kind of healthy whole grain as well. This was some brown rice with just a drizzle of olive oil. Dusty and I are oil free, but sometimes we add it to the kids' meals for extra calories and healthy fats. Max wanted to add it onto his quesadilla, which was such a great idea. So the nutritional breakdown, we have plenty of our macronutrients involved here. Black beans are loaded with protein. The hummus has protein and healthy fats. And the avocado, of course, is another healthy fat source. And we find that the tortilla is the perfect vehicle to get all of this nutrition into their tiny tummies. Oh, that was sweet. Big bite. So. Almost all of Liv's teeth are poking in at this point, so she is enjoying all the solids. We've been trying out these Llama Naturals plant-based multivitamin gummies. They're USDA organic. We've been using them for Max for a couple months now. They also make an elderberry immunity one, a vitamin D3, and a prebiotic and probiotic blend. I love them because they don't contain any added sugars and all of the vitamins and minerals are from Whole Foods. They are not synthetic. The library has been our favorite new place to go as of late. The kids have been loving getting to pick their own books to bring home and read before bed. And we always try to do something family oriented in the late afternoon. <laughs> Usually we will either just go run around or go for a walk, go to a park, or like today, we decided to go finally check out the beach. Since Hurricane Ian, we have not been back. So we are super excited to pick up. Max has been getting better and better about cleaning up and helping out, which of course mom and dad are thrilled about. I'm also working on some recipes for our book coming out next year and Max is catching up with his cousin Isaiah on FaceTime. Finally getting ready to head out the door, I'm chopping a mixed fruit bowl and giving Biv one of her favorite snacks, applesauce loaded with hemp seeds. This is such a great hack to bolster that applesauce with a little bit more nutrition. Here's what else we're bringing. So this, this is kind of our snack and superfood drawer. I usually grab like one or two savory, one or two sweet snacks whenever we go to the beach or if we go on a day trip somewhere. Some of my picks would be Mary's Gone Crackers, these brown rice crisps, or these Brad's veggie chips for like our crunchy, salty, savory snack. For sweet snacks, it's usually gonna be like the freeze-dried strawberries, the goji berries, and the mulberries, which I've already mentioned. And we really love this granola we just got from Thrive Market. So this is like a seasonal like pumpkin spice one. And then some kind of nuts or seeds. These pumpkin seeds are sprouted. They're so, so good with zinc and iron and protein. And then some pitted dates too. Other than the sweet and savory snacks, I always bring fresh chopped fruits and veggies, carrot, celery, all kinds of berries, bananas, and apples and baked goods. So my brownies are usually always in the fridge every week, so we're gonna bring those with too.
So yes, it is still hot here in Florida, but we were feeling cozy now that it's fall, so we're making our best chili ever recipe. I'll link the recipe video below, but you can also find it in our ebook and the Eat Move Rest meal planner. While the beans are cooking in the instant pot, we are sauteing onion, garlic, celery, and all the necessary seasonings and spices. The beans that you saw were organic ayacote beans. They're not easy to find, so I'll link the store below. In my opinion, they are by far the best. We also added in a jar of tomatoes and some fresh tomatoes. Then we will add a portion to a mini blender just to thicken the chili a bit more, adding in some water for volume as we add in our other veggies like bell pepper and some Japanese sweet potatoes and garnet sweet potatoes. Instead of the old fashioned route of using ground beef, we add in lentils, which are an amazing source of iron and protein. So we use black lentils, but typically I would recommend green or brown lentils. Adding the beans and sweet corn, mixing it up, and we are almost good to go. Just let it simmer on the stove until everything is cooked nice and thoroughly. I recommend adding some sliced and diced avocado on top and a dusting of nutritional yeast. It really, really completes this dish. If you wanna see more of what we eat daily, what the kids are enjoying, follow Dusty and I on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik and at DB Stanzik. And be sure to leave us some love in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button, share this video with a friend, give it a thumbs up, and until next time, eat, move, rest your best. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.